So this is my go-to digital EQ. It does pretty much everything I could possibly want from an EQ. So why then do I sometimes use this instead? Now this is an analog emulation of the now famous Pultec EQs. And I'm going to give you three very good reasons for using this instead. One, there are no visual distractions here, which in turn encourages you to use your ears. Always a good thing. And two, it's like changing your mindset. You can end up making EQ moves that you wouldn't otherwise make. And finally, three, it's based on hardware that had both tubes and transformers in it, which produced a subtle form of distortion, which gives it a pleasing sound. This is the PT EQX. It comes to us from Ignite Amps, and it's free. It's emulating not one, but three different Pultec EQs. Now I know some people don't know what exactly these EQs are doing, or how and when to use them. So I'm going to visually show you what exactly this plugin is doing to your audio. And of course, we get to hear it in action too. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a, a one kilohertz tone running through the plugin, which at the moment is bypassed, and a spectrum analyzer, which will show us in real time the harmonics being created by the plugin. So let's turn off bypass. And as you can see, we've got harmonics added by the plugin here. If you look at the bottom left of the plugin, we've got an input volume control. And we can use this to drive the plugin. Let's go for that. Have a look at the result. So by pushing the plugin, we intensify the harmonics. Over here, we've got a tube switch where we can turn the tubes off. Harmonics have gone, which gives you the choice of using the plugin if you like clean. Let's turn it back on. Below this, we have a drop down menu. And here we have the choice of four different tubes, which will change the sound somewhat. Okay, on the right hand side this time, we've got an EQ curve analyzer. At the moment, it's showing a flat frequency response. Let's switch in the plugin. Okay, our frequency response isn't flat anymore. However, it's not a dramatic difference, as you can see. Okay, so the plugin consists of three different plugins, as I've already mentioned. The top one is what's referred to as a mid-range equalizer, and this is called the MQ5. In the middle here, this one is what's referred to as a program equalizer, and it's the PEQ1A. And finally, the last one on the bottom, quite simple, two controls, high pass filter, and a low pass filter. Also, each section or each EQ, they're individually bypassable, which is very handy. However, if you want to bypass the whole plugin, then you're going to have to use your DAW's own EQ bypass. Okay, let's look at the plugin in a bit more detail. We'll start with the top EQ. This is a three band EQ. The first one is a bell EQ. It's boost only, and you've got five frequencies that you can choose from. The second band is still a bell EQ, but it's cut only, or dip, as they call it. And here you've got 11 different frequencies to choose from. Okay, and finally, the third band. Again, a bell EQ. Again, it's boost only. Now, this is a relatively narrow bell EQ. And also here, you've got five different frequencies to choose from. Now things get a little bit more interesting with the next one, the PEQ1A. Now again, it's a three band EQ. Now band one is a shelf EQ, and you can both boost and cut with this one. Now boost and cut are actually on separate controls, as you can see here. Okay, let's set this to 60 hertz. And let's start with a boost. Give it a good healthy boost. Now, if you look at the curve analyzer, although we are set to 60 hertz, it's still boosting all the way up to 100 hertz. And we get a significant amount of boost even all the way up to 250 hertz. Now, we're sticking with the same frequency, and now we're going to do a cut. 
And this time you can see, even though we're set to 60 hertz, it's cutting all the way up to 500 hertz. And again, even up to 1000 hertz, we're still getting a lot of cut. So what's going on here is the boost is boosting at a lower frequency than the cut. So the cut is higher. But where the magic happens with this band is when you use both boost and cut at the same time. Okay, let's boost it. Bit more cut. So this allows us to get a really big boost in the lower end. And also a cut so that it stops the low end getting a bit too muddy. Now all you need to do is just move your frequency selector around until you get the sound that you want. Now people use this a lot to get big fat thumpy kicks and is sometimes referred to as the Pultec low end trick. Next band we've got a, a boost frequency selector and we have a bandwidth control. So we can narrow or widen the bandwidth, obviously. Let's bring it all the way to the left. This narrows the bandwidth, but what it also does is it increases the volume. Watch now as we bring it up again. Wider band, lower gain. And finally, the third EQ, which is called the HL3C, quite simple, has two controls. It's got a high pass filter and as you can see very steep slope it's got a low pass filter and this also has a very steep slope okay enough talking let's have a listen we're going to use a drum loop to demonstrate the plugin we're going to start with the kick so why not try the pull tech low end trick so we're going to go to the peq 1a we're going to start with a boost and leave it at 20 hertz to start with already hear that having an effect. Let's switch between the frequencies, see which one is best. 45 is sounding good, as is 60. Now we are getting a little bit loud now, but that's okay, we'll be sorting that one out. So let's also go for a cut. And that starts to tighten it up straight away. But we're going to need some more boost. That's sounding pretty good around there. Let's turn down the output. Let's just bypass, see what we got so far. It's quite a difference. Okay, we're going well so far, but now what we want to do is give the kick a little bit more definition. So we need to go to our higher frequencies. So we're going to go up to the next band. I'm going to leave the bandwidth as it is, and let's go for a boost here. And again, switch between the frequencies, find what we're looking for. Sounds pretty good there. Let's go down to five. Nope, happy with six. And again, let's just bring the volume down ever so slightly. And again, we'll bypass. Yeah, that's a difference. Okay, that's sounding good. Let's carry on. Next up, we're going to go to the overs. And this time, we're going to start with a high pass filter. Let's play. Let's go for it. Ooh, that's made a difference. Made a bit more space for the kick. Let's try 80 hertz. 
personally, I'd rather have the 50. Okay, and let's just go for some higher frequencies here. We really want to brighten it up a lot. So we're going to go here to the bandwidth, all the way to 10, widest bandwidth. And let's boost. Okay, and again, switch between the frequencies. Kicking in there. Let's try 6K. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, let's hear it without that. Oh, it's, it's such a big difference. Back in. It just really lifts the treble without getting too harsh. Nice one. So let's play before and after with what we've done. That is such a big difference for a few small moves. The high frequency boost really lifts the treble, really nice. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. I'll see you next time.